Hey guys, it's Carrie the Paper Monkey. Thank y'all so much for stopping in. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all. Um, this is my February Junk Journal Vision Board. Now, you may or may not know, but last month I switched over to a book format. This is a, more like a scrapbook, but I used to keep my Junk Journal Vision Board on a calendar. It was, for whatever reason, I wanted to switch over to a book. Now, my friend Hazel Anaka, she did the same exact thing. We didn't even know that, but she did the same exact thing. I'm going to link Hazel's February Junk Journal Vision Board video in this description because Hazel did mind mapping. She did, she did. She does that. She did a really great explanation on what mind mapping is. Um, I, I, I'm going to leave that right there because I'm going to, I would screw up that whole explanation. She does it fabulously. Go check out her channel. It's really very, very interesting. It really is. Um, I am for the month of February. As, as some of you know, I share some things, some things I don't, okay? Whatever it is that you decide to do as a vision board, make it work for you. This is what works for me. If you want to do the vision board for the whole year, that's wonderful. Again, you have to do what works for you. I needed to do something in smaller bites. That's why I break it down by the month. And especially with my YouTube channel, working full time, you know, family stuff, all this, all this stuff that happens in the background and the fact that I'm old now, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not firing on all cylinders like I used to could. Um, it just helps me to kind of, to kind of, um, navigate what I really want to do in that month. So a couple of things that I want to do for the month is some certain content that I want to put out. Now, this is a little bit ambitious. I will tell you that. For me, this is a little bit ambitious, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. And what, what this helps me to also do is to realize that if I don't check everything off the list, it's going to be okay. I used to really, um, you know, I hold myself to a certain level of accountability that is unrealistic at times. That is one thing this past year has taught me really and truly. Um, I am, first of all, I'm a, I am my own worst critic. And second of all, I do. I, I hold myself to a standard that um, I, I probably could not meet and probably shouldn't even try. To, and so I disappoint myself. So those are the things that I'm learning about myself. This is helping me to learn those things about myself. So if I don't check everything off my monthly list, if I don't reach all of these or accomplish all of these things in the month, I'm just going to flip it to the next month and it's going to be okay. And so if, if you guys follow this journey with me, I hope that by me sharing that with you, that if you find yourself doing those same things, that you'll cut yourself some slack. Because that's what I'm having to teach myself to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm having to teach myself to give me the same grace that I give to other people. Isn't that something? And that's something how we do that to ourselves. I know I, I have done it for years. I have, um, I've been really hard on myself. Um, now listen, I, this is, don't, don't have a pity party with me. That's not what this is about. This is my, this is my way of telling you that I identify these, these things about myself and I want you to give yourself the same grace that I'm going to give myself this month. That's all this is about. You know, I, I want my channel and I want my conversations with you guys to be uplifting. I really do. I want it to be uplifting. I want us to be able to encourage each other. I want us to be able to laugh and share and just be lighthearted. 
about things because the world is a serious place, right? I mean, all you got to do is turn on the TV, watch the news for about five minutes and, you know, that <laughs> sometimes that'll set us on our heels, won't it? You know, so I want, I want this channel, my channel and my platform here uh, with you guys to be a place where you can come. We can share positive things with each other and, you know, laugh and joke and cut up and just for a few minutes um, know that it's going to be okay. Whatever it is in each other's lives, it will be okay, right? So Junk Journal Vision Board, hashtag Junk Journal Vision Board. This tag may look familiar to some of you. I made this in one of my Tag Your Turns. I'm going to do another video this month. I've, I'm reaching out to some folks to try and um, see if they want to participate in hashtag Tag Your Turns. So that's one of my videos that I'm going to do. I want to do a junk journal jewelry video. I did a live recently. I'll I'll tag that live for you guys if you didn't get to see it. It was so much fun. Y'all, I was scared to death. What? Oh my goodness. But the the folks who were there, though, it was so much fun. I did have so much fun. But I noticed when I kind of watched, I didn't watch the whole thing because I can't hardly stand to watch myself back, but um, what pieces of it I did watch, I noticed that um, my lighting was a little off. I was off camera because when you're working with, um, with especially uh, like beads and things like that, you have to get so close like up here. You have to, you know, really pay attention to your your video, your shots, you know, where you're at in screen. So I noticed I, I was kind of off. So I thought, you know, let me do a video and really concentrate and really do a better job at giving the viewer, your, your, you know, you guys a better shot at what, how to do, especially the little paper clips and stuff that I do. And I have some ideas with using some little gourd pens and stuff. So I want to do that video. I also want to do a, um, a review of, I have on here Dollar Tree die cuts, because I recently, I buy a lot of the Dollar Tree die cuts, but I actually might ex ex uh, extend that to include, like, my favorite Dollar Tree things to use in a junk journal. So, I need to wrap my mind around that and kind of pull the things that I have or go buy them because some things I got to restock on too. So, there's that. And then I also want to do a, um, a, a, a video on some keychains that I made. Watch, I'll show you. Let me show you these. So, I recently just... <laughs> I don't know where, maybe I got this from Pinterest because y'all know I don't, I still don't have an original idea, no. But this, I just modified an idea that I saw on Pinterest. And, um, yeah, so I thought, well, let me, um, maybe I could do this on camera. I'll have to figure out how to set Samuel L. Jackson up. But they're really easy and they're a lot of fun to make. At least I had fun making them. So I thought maybe I would do that on camera. Something a little different. And fabric clusters and snippet rolls. They're over here because it's not necessarily a video I want to make. Even though I may do it on video. I am thinking about... Now listen, I drag... Oh my God, do I overthink stuff. Lord have mercy. Have a big old mercy. I overthink stuff. But I am considering selling fabric clusters and snippet rolls. So I'm kind of working through, you know, how to package it, the shipping. Y'all, why is shipping so much? The shipping is out of control. It is truly out of control. That it just aggravates me. Uh, and, and where do I sell them and how do I sell them and how much do I sell them for? So I did a couple of polls on my community tab, kind of getting an idea of um, what um, what type, you know, whimsical, um, neutral, you know, kind of just getting an idea of what you guys are looking for out there too. So more to come on that. And then there's some other things that I want to do for like 
here, like my, my video shots, you know, and I, I want, uh, I got to figure this lighting thing out. Cause look at all the shadows here. I want to figure out some better lighting for you guys. I want, uh, I think my computer's going out. Oh no. Urgh. <laughs> I think, uh, I think it's cause it's, it's acting a little crazy. So I'm going to have to look into that. And then uh, the background, the actual background, I have to kind of figure out what I want to do. Because I used to have a um, a doily type background and I'd like to go back to that neutral background. So I want to kind of figure that out. And then there's some journals that I want to either finish or I want to start and make. I want to finish my Nurse Nancy's. I, I put them off to the side, um, kind of they're kind of halfway through. So I need to uh, pick those or I'd like to pick those back up at some point this month. My honey, I want to make him a Valentine's Day journal. I have a book picked out already for that. So I'm kind of excited about that because that'll have a more masculine feel to it. Now, I also did ask my friend Angela, the traveling crafter, if, um, you know, it, 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 we could make a masculine theme journal maybe around Father's Day. So more to come on that. I'm hoping I'm hoping we can do something together in tandem. Um I, I enjoy I enjoy working with, with Carol and Angela so much. Um uh the Dolly journal that we just did a live uh craft and chat. Uh, with Angela, the traveling crafter, Carol at a crinkle path, and Sandy was there, and Hazel Anaka. Yeah, we were all there. It was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. I'll, I'll link that. I'll link that one too. I want to finish up my Dolly journal. So um, there's that. And then uh, a long time ago, several months back, I started some Edith Holden projects. There are some journals out there um, that I've kind of gravitated back towards Edith Holden theme type journals. And I have some thoughts on picking that back up. Like I said, this is a little ambitious for me this month, but we'll see. We'll see where the month takes us. Again, this is kind of Mardi Gras here in Southern Louisiana. Um, love i love this time of year i don't mardi gras anymore we don't mardi gras anymore um but um just the whole feel of uh mardi gras in the area it's a it's a different time of year you can tell it's it's more and then you know you get to see some things on social media a lot of the balls are going on every weekend there's a there's a mardi gras ball and everybody gets dressed up and it's festive and it's just uh it's just it's different it's very it's it's a lot of fun to watch kind of even from the sidelines it is um uh i know i just i've just pulled this sticker just because these are kind of festival looking type uh ladies and uh so i said well let me do that and then these this stick these sticker packs came from my friend carol at a crinkle path so uh, you guys go out and check Carol's channel out, please. She's trying to hit her. She is this close to her 1K subby mark. Please, if you have not subscribed to Carol's channel, please go do so. You will not regret it. She's just retired. Uh, and so I know she is going to be concentrating on her channel even more now. So I'm excited. I really am excited to see where Carol's channel goes from here. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch her growth, uh, and watch her channel grow. Um, I guess that's going to just about do it for this February 2024 Junk Journal Vision Board. Again, guys, if you want to if you want to use that hashtag, I'd love to go out and support you in what you, you know, whatever your vision is for the month, if that's how you do it. Um, you know, it's just about uplifting and supporting each other really and truly. So remember what I always say, though, I hope that whatever it is you get to do for the month of February, whatever that is, I hope that it is as much fun as I have sharing this month over month with you guys. Listen, we'll chat soon. Bye.